In this class, we'll see the plane wave in different medium. Let's understand this. A plane wave would be given by del square E is equal to gamma square E. Now, gamma is nothing but called as propagation constant. It's a propagation constant. Where gamma is given by where gamma is given by j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon. Now, this gamma is also equal to alpha plus j beta. As I told you, it's a propagation constant, so it will have attenuation constant and the phase constant. Now, if I want to find the attenuation constant for a plane wave would be given by, let's write in this way, for a plane wave attenuation constant would be given by omega mu epsilon by 2 root over 1 plus sigma square omega square epsilon square minus 1 power half. In the same way, beta would be given by omega mu epsilon by 2 root over 1 plus sigma square omega square epsilon square plus 1. So, by alpha and beta which we said it is attenuation and the phase constant for a plane wave would be given by this way. Now, let us try to find the alpha and beta for a different medium. Let me take a first medium as called as a lossless medium. When I say lossless in the means that when a wave travels in that medium, there would be a zero loss. Now, the important point to take away is, if a wave is traveling, there will be no loss of the wave if there is no free charge carriers in that medium. Free charge carriers will actually absorb the energy of the wave and the wave will gradually get lost. Now, it means that whatever, if I am talking about a lossless medium, the free charge carriers in that medium should be zero. That is nothing but what I mean by sigma is zero. Sigma stand for conductivity. Now, conductivity is nothing but if the conductivity is zero, it means there is no free charge carriers, right? So, if sigma is zero for a lossless medium, then what will be alpha and beta? Let us conclude that. So, the alpha would be, so the sigma is zero, so this will be root over one, the root over one will be one, so this will be one minus one, this comes out to be alpha would be zero, right? Because this quantity goes to 0, this quantity goes to 0 is root 1, root over 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, alpha would be 0. What about beta? Beta would be nothing but as this quantity goes to 0, root over 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So, root over 2. So, let us see that what it is. Omega mu epsilon by 2 and this comes out to be 2 and this comes out to be root 2, right? So, this get cancelled. So, beta would be nothing but omega mu epsilon. Now, remember initially itself we said when you talk about lossless medium, there should be zero loss, right? If there is a zero loss, it means for that medium, the attenuation should be zero. If the attenuation is not zero, it means there has to be the wave is going to lose the energy, right? So, that is true. Alpha is zero here, right? But the phase constant is not zero. Phase constant is omega root over mu epsilon. What about the another medium? Let us look another medium called as a lossy medium. For a lossy medium, what will happen? The lossy medium condition is would be greater than 1. So, it is a lossy medium. This would be a high value. If I substitute this value, 
what will happen here? Let's see what I'll get the alpha. Alpha would be nothing but omega mu epsilon by 2. So this quantity is very high value. So I can neglect one, right? This quantity is very high. It's greater greater than 1. So I can neglect this and even this quantity would be greater than 1. So what I can do is it would be root over sigma by omega epsilon, right? If I simplify this, what I will get? If I simplify this, this omega will become root over omega. So it will be omega, this omega will go, mu will remain, so mu will remain, epsilon will get cancelled, so epsilon is gone, sigma will remain and it would be by 2, right? So this would be my attenuation constant in case of a lossy medium. What about a, what about the beta or the phase constant? Beta would be nothing but let us conclude here itself. Again, this quantity is very, very high. So I can neglect one, right? I can neglect one. So this quantity comes out to be, if I solve this, again, I will observe that beta would be also equal to alpha. So beta would be also equal to So we have concluded alpha and beta in case of lossless medium and lossy medium.